IGPEC community. I want to, to answer a few questions for you. In most cases, a lot of people are just thinking about their marketing from a mass marketing point of view. How do I address a very large audience? And the problem is when you try to address everybody, you actually don't really reach any one person in particular. And so by using personas, um, we can get closer to true personalization, which requires massive amounts of data to really do it right. But on a personal personalization point of view, we can use that to really understand the different types of customers that come to us and provide them with the great experiences that each type of those customers need uh, and give them the content they need, uh, find the products they need, uh, and give them the support they need as they go through their buyer journey. So persona marketing is going to be a very powerful tool to be able to tell the story of your customers all the way from your stockroom to your boardroom. Very important part of marketing today. So, you know, without a question, I think the number one thing that differentiates all the best brands today is just creating amazing experiences. If you think about the Ubers that took on the hotels, if you think about the Googles that took on all the other search engines beforehand, if you, if, I mean, I can go on and on and on about all these great brands that are now large but weren't large years ago. The simple thing is you differentiate with great experiences. You come with a great voice uh, and you come in, you know, very focused on providing the ultimate customer experience. And we're definitely going to be talking a lot about that when I'm in uh, Romania. Absolutely, we should be doing offline marketing. If everybody is now focused so much of their attention on online marketing, you've got to be where everyone's not. So go ahead, use radio, uh, use TV if you can do it cost effectively. There are ways to reach people, uh, print, um, that you should be using today that a lot of your competitors are not. So any channel that we can touch them, we're still reaching customers. Use it intelligently, please. People crave content. We crave content everywhere. Advertising is just a form of content. If you really think about it, we're just providing different or short style messages. The point of content marketing is what we're telling people is answer your customers' questions so you can help them buy. If you can help them buy, I promise you, you will sell more. We need to understand that content is just about satisfying your customers' needs and giving them the experience they need along their buyer journey. So please, content marketing is not a fad. It's definitely something we should be focusing on. All right, well, I'm really excited to share with you uh, what I've learned over the last 20 years of, of working with companies uh, in online marketing and optimization uh, and building great brands. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, uh, one brand and their four pillars of success. We're going to be talking about a process we worked on with one of the largest uh, online presences in the world uh, and how they use that process to become one of the leading uh, optimization cultures. So uh, we've got a lot to cover because that's why I'm going to be spending a full six hours of actual training material and Q&A. So you don't want to miss that. So I actually think if, you, if I started piecing together what's going on uh, in the industry, you know, we definitely see the Amazon Echo, we see the Google Home, we see uh, Apple Siri. Uh, voice, I think, is going to be a very powerful thing. The, the truth of the matter is, interacting with keyboards, interacting with touch screen uh, is a little complicated. Voice is such a more natural processor. It's going to take a few years, but I think over the next couple of years, we're going to see quite a bit of uh, advancements. Uh, we're going to see more and more people doing it. I mean, on, on Amazon Echo today, uh, if you had one, you can go ahead and you can reorder any product you want. It, it's actually pretty amazing. So I think voice uh, is going to be huge over the next two years. You know, marketplaces tend to balance economics. It's harder to keep your margins. It's, it's, it, it's a challenge. Uh, certainly, there are customers there. And so if you have products, uh, that makes sense to be in that marketplace, absolutely you want to be there. It may drive your, your profits down, that's for sure. Uh, and so there, there's a pro and con. You've really got to weigh it out for your brand if it makes a lot of sense. Uh, it's not something that can be answered just uh, generally. Make sure your seat uh, is very close to the front row at GPEC Summit, uh, November 15th and 16th. Uh, we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of work to make sure you learn how to be one of the, the most incredible online shops out there. Do not miss it. Mm -hmm.